Hey there, everybody. Thank you for joining us again for another video. Uh, very happy to be here with Marla Lawson, one of our teachers. Uh, and Marla, you have an interesting hand yeah. from a recent lesson. I do. I do. Uh, so tell us about it. What is set this hand up for us? Well, I start every class by reminding people the object of the game is to take as many tricks as possible. And when you're in a contract, you are contracted to take a certain number of tricks. And sometimes you don't have enough to start with. So you have to find more. Okay. So here we are in three no trump. Three no trump means you have to take nine tricks. So let's count our winners right off the top first, immediately. In spades, we have That's two. Me the ace and the king. We can take yeah. those right now. What about in hearts? In hearts, we have, it's a nice heart suit North has, but can we count any more than the ace as sure winners? Your, your right off the top winners are just the ace. The others have to be established. So we okay. have two spades and one heart. What about diamonds? Okay, diamonds. So I guess same question. It's a lovely queen, but we can only count the ace. So that's just, four. Yep, just the ace is four. And what about clubs? Clubs, we have the ace and the king. We could take those to the bank right now. Yep, so that's six. So where are we going to get three more? Three Let's more. Think about that. So going suit by suit, like I don't see much potential in spades beyond the ace king. Right. But as you noted, the hearts are pretty attractive. They look great. We're only Being missing the king. Nine. Mm -hmm. And another possibility might be diamonds. If we can finesse the queen. Do we mm -hmm. know what, what a finesse is? The finesse is attempting to win a trick with a card that's not the highest card outstanding. So because so we're missing we the king. know the king is still out there. Right. Can, can the queen win anyway, somehow? Okay. And and then we've got clubs. We've got a total of seven clubs. So maybe we get a length trick. And a length trick, help us understand, what does that mean? Why? There's no That's... chance of finessing the clubs, but where could we pick up a trick with the clubs? Well, we have seven, which means there are six left. And if they happen to split 3-3, three, three, which is actually, I think, a less than a one-third chance, so not too likely, okay. then, you know, we play the ace, we play the king, we lose the, the third club, and then our fourth club, the lowly two, magically becomes a winner. So there's the possibility, but we shouldn't bet the farm on it. Yeah, That's because you have to... You have to, they'd have to split three, three. And then, you know, after you've lost the third club, you have to make sure that they can't run a whole bunch of other tricks against you. So it's possible, but I don't think that's the best source of tricks. But that, I'm, that I'm not the only is, one looking at those hearts. The heart suit is calling out to me. So in order to, to try to make the queen and the jack and the 10 or whatever good, we can do a finesse, which means we start with a low card from the south mm -hmm. and play up towards north. And if west plays the king, then obviously we take the ace. And if west plays small, we try the queen or the jack or the ten. And maybe it holds. Can I ask a question? Yeah. If, if So if our plan is to finesse the hearts, should we take our shore winners before we finesse? or plan on taking them after we finesse? Sort of interspersed because we need those other winners as a means of transportation. And I'll show you what I mean. If you okay. take all of your sure winners first and then you try the finesse and it loses, then you know they could take a whole bunch of other spades or diamonds or clubs. So if we just cash in our six sure winners right now and then tried uh, uh, the a uh, heart to the queen. Once it loses to the king, we can't stop them from going on a tear night on the town. Right, right. We, we have to keep we have to keep our winners to be able to stop them. And you were saying about getting back and forth between the hands. 
Right. Maybe you can show us. I'll demonstrate. Okay. Okay, so we'll win this trick with the ace. And let's start working on the hearts immediately. So we'll play a heart. West played small, so let's try the queen. Oh, goody! So the fact that the queen won means that probably which of our opponents has the king? Great question. Folks watching, and I, I'm sure the experienced players already spot spot that. For folks learning, where do you think the, the king of hearts must be now? Or is most likely to be, I guess. Um, well, I'm going to guess uh, it's likely West has it. Right, because if East had the king, they probably would have won the trick. Now, sometimes opponents are tricky, and they might have a reason for not doing so. But most likely, West has the king of hearts. And there's a good rule of thumb. If a finesse works once, it's likely to work again. So we want to do the same thing. So how are we going to get back to the south hand? That's why we didn't want to cash all our sure winners. Exactly. First. And so now we can get there with the ace of diamonds, the king of spades, or the ace of clubs. And I'm going to vote for the ace of clubs because otherwise we're using up our stopper in those other two suits. All right. With the clubs, we have two stoppers, the ace and the king. Right. And we still have that question. Maybe we turn our fourth club into a winner. You never know. Okay, so we'll play the two of hearts now and see what happens. Okay, they're playing low again. So the jack wins. Okay. Well, we don't have any more hearts in south with which to take a third finesse. So, and if we've been counting, both opponents followed twice. So eight hearts have been played. And we have three in the north. There's two left. Are you feeling lucky? Let's cash the ace. Ka-ching! Ka-ching! So the king falls, and our last two hearts are good. Now, so why don't we question, just take Marla. Them? Yes. If the hearts... If the two remaining hearts were in either, likely West's hand, but in either place, there's a little bit of a risk there, isn't there? Well, there is. But, you know, so the ace is a winner, and we can see down here that we've got five tricks. And the king of hearts will be six, and the king of clubs will be seven, and the ace of diamonds will be eight. So then you'd have to hope that the diamond finesse works or that the club split three, three and the fourth club sets up. You'd have a couple other options. And we still might be able to make another heart winner. Even if we lose to the King with the 10 or the nine. Right. Because then the other one would set up. We just need to make sure as you reminded us, we need to be able to, get back to North hand. Right. So you have to save that king of clubs. But sometimes you just need to take the chance. We don't know that the hearts will break in our favor, but here they do. Right, right. And sometimes if making your contract requires that the cards lie a certain way, you have to play as if they lie that way, if that's the only way you're going to make it. So. Marla, can you... Say that again for us learners. I I feel like this is a lesson and a reminder I need to keep hearing. Um, yeah, this is a it's a key point. Um, you know, sometimes I'll be going over something and I say, well, you can make this if the hearts split and your other two hearts are good. And it says, well, what are the chances of that? And it says, they may be small chances, but if that's the only chance, if the only chance for you to make your contract is to play as if the cards lie this way, you have to play that way. I, I, I especially as it's still, you know, the beginning of this year, I, I feel like there might be a life lesson in there too. I want to play this year. 
we have to trust that things or hope that things will work out as we're counting on them to. Oh, I could do a whole seminar on this, sem the similarities between life and bridge. <laughs> oh, yes, please, Mama. I, you have your first student here. <laughs> I think we should all do that. Okay, so, so if yep. you want me to finish the hand. Yeah, it, it take us home. Let's see. Well, let's, let's hang on to the clubs, I guess. And we'll catch the nine and we'll throw this spade away. And okay, so play the king of hearts or clubs, excuse me, and we'll play another club and see if they split. Well, I don't know. Okay, that's trick number nine. And we know that the Ace of Diamonds is good, so let's cash that out. And then I have to admit, I wasn't paying complete attention. So let's just see if the Seven of Clubs is good. It is. It's a great yeah. start to the new year. Okay. So, <laughs> Promising start. So then, uh, and the finesse would have lost anyway. The finesse would have so. lost if the king is there. We got lucky, and not only did we make our contract, we got plus two, two over tricks. So that's very, very helpful hand. Um, thanks for one you know, uh, with um, with hands, you know, as declare no trump. We count our sure winners. We look for the best ways we can make some more winners. Here, finessing looked like it was um, our best shot. If a finesse works once, it's likely to work again. And most importantly, if we see the only way to make the contract is one route, that's the route we should go. And right, uh, right. So many good lessons in that. And that's just one hand. See? <laughs> Happy New Year, right? You got a Happy New whole Year. bunch of uh, great lessons with so one hand. Well, yeah, I, and I, I, this is just one of... Uh, many of the hands that you look at, but uh, uh, all of your lessons bring so many gems like like what we saw today. Um, thank you for sharing this one. We'll look forward to uh, doing another video with, with you soon. Great. Thanks, Bajir. Thanks, Marla. Thanks, everyone, for joining us.